Welcome to the garden studio. I am so happy. The engineer, that's my husband, was down here the other day and he said to me, I've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? And I said, I'm in my new house. I need it built bigger now so that I can bring the bed down. Well, I just love it. And I'm into the decorating and it's too exciting. Now, I have a bird cage over here and I have decided that that bird cage is going to be turned in to a gorgeous little light. So let me just get it. Here it is. Isn't this just a Fabulous, I just love it. I'm gonna take that down. I shouldn't have done this. I should have waited until everything was done, but you know what it's like when you move into something and you see things and all the inspiration and the ideas come to you. So really what I want to do today and what I want to show you is, these are the latest, they are so fabulous. I actually don't like birds in cages, but I do like the cage itself. And a friend of mine was in China just a couple of weeks ago and she said that it was just wonderful watching the elderly taking their little canaries for a walk. Isn't that great what people do? Okay, so what I've done here is, this is what it looks like. And I have just, I actually, it was a terrible job painting this. So from that, what I did was, quick, 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 quick undercoat, I sprayed it, and then painstakingly got in here with the paintbrush and painted it inside and outside. And why I just didn't paint it, spray paint it to start with is beyond me. However, that's okay. Right, this I'm going to turn into a beautiful floral extravaganza, and I'm going to put crystals on it as well. Now, I need a bit of foliage, so I'm just going to cut these. My snips are seriously, seriously not as good as they could be. Right, cutting those stalks off because we don't want those and then over here I've got these did you look at see these beautiful orchids hiding 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 waiting to be used aren't they fabulous so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to put these on the top of the birdcage and have them hanging down fabulous and I might even turn it into a light when I'm finished we'll see whether the engineer my husband's going to help me okay right the first thing to do is whoa don't you fall don't fall is determine your length stop that stop it stop it so I, that there I thought I could have running down through and over to there and that I'm just going to there's a wee hole there so what I'm going to do is no I'm not going to do that because that's not going to work I'll put that through to there like that and then I'm going to get another one just a little bit longer and I'll put that through to there like that and then poke that through there so I'm going to have to put my hand into there looks a bit fiddly but don't you worry it'll be fine so that can go to there and then I've got another one here oh! Orchids all over the place. I'll cut this one just a little bit shorter and I'll have that going into there. Like, oh yeah, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? And they're so graceful. In fact, orchids reminded me of birds. Now, um, excuse me, would somebody please on that side pick that up for me? One moment while I get the, it picked up. Thank you very much. That's my director who's actually my son, and I don't think I've introduced you to who everybody is, but one day they're going to let me on their end of the cameras and I'll be able to show you what they all look like. Right, I've got the orchids there. I actually need a few more. One moment. You know, being prepared would have been a good thing. So I'm going to put that up into there like that. And then because I've got orchids, I always like to have a bit of green to go with that. So that can go into there. And then that over to that side and then that can go into there. Now I've got that stem hanging out there which I don't like so I'm going to cut that off and then to get everything to stay in place, trusty cable ties, I absolutely love those. So they're just going to go into there and then when you do these they just go in like that and then you just pull them like that and there is a right way and a wrong way and you'll know if you've got it wrong. So it's just a matter now of going up through underneath there, making sure that I've got it the right way and getting that little hook through there, oh, get into there, and then just pulling that down and tight like that, and then getting your cable ties, your scissors, and going in there and cutting that. Right, so you just keep going until all of that is done, and then what I want to do is, 
Let me have a look and see what it's looking like. Oh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Actually, what I'm thinking is I might have to put a few more into there because I think it needs it. So from there, the next thing to do is I've got these beautiful crystals and about now what I think I have to do is just come back in a few seconds because I'm going to hang it up because it's going to be easier to put these lovely crystals when it is up in its location. So bear with me. And then just opening these up and just extending those down like so. And I'll get a longer one to go with that. That can go into there, open that up. And because this is inside, it's actually not going to go anywhere. So I don't have to wor need to worry about those being fixed firmly into place. And just use your little corners there. That can just be turned around like that. Oh yeah, look at that, that's fantastic. They should stay quite firmly in position. How's that? There's a bit more work to be done on it, but next time you're looking in my shed, you'll see that all finished and it'll be fantastic. So just keep going, adding the orchids as you feel. There are no hard and fast rules. I hope I've been of help to someone out there. Thanks for watching and I will see you another day. Thank you.